Tokyo. When darkness descends, the highways become racetracks. This is the home of the street racer. Well, that's what we'd always been told. When I went to Japan recently, it was clear that street racing is a craze that's dying out. The truth is, it peaked about 10 years ago, so we wanted to find out what's replacing it. We'd had a tip-off that a motorway rest area called Daikoku Fotu was a good place to head for, where gangs of car-crazy kids supposedly gathered underneath the elevated highways. What follows is an account of that bizarre Friday night we spent in a Tokyo service station. Forty-five minutes away from downtown Tokyo, the services are immaculate and very quiet. A sole cleaner is on constant patrol at this, the rendezvous point for Japan's coolest car nuts. At least, this is where we think they meet. I mean, it's not exactly like the MG Owners Club, where they meet in fields and have bunting and newsletters. It's more like trying to find raves in the early 90s with mobile phones and laybys. It's currently about quarter past eight, and all we've got turned up so far, well, is a few MPVs and a small Honda called the Vats. Eventually, modified cars started to roll in. The kids clearly spend a fortune tricking their cars up to a professional level. So, where do they get their money from? Well, over here, nobody invests in housing because the threat of earthquakes means that the value of property actually goes down over time. Together with the fact that interest rates are at 0%, it means Tokyo 20-somethings have a shedful of disposable income. Of the early cars to arrive, we were particularly impressed by a Lexus with four TV screens in the front, including one covering the rearview mirror. Alright, we've got a van turned up and it appears to have some sort of mobile DJ in it. You don't get this at Oxford Services. Yes, a man had literally turned his van into an enormous speaker backed up to the shop fronts, which were still open by the way, and commenced a full-on two-hour DJ set. Safe to say the kids approved, particularly when his mate turned up with some screens that taught them the dance moves. The director keeps trying to make me go and dance with them, but they're rubbish! But eventually I succumbed, and you wouldn't believe how noisy it was. I mean, it was ear-splitting. You could feel the bass pounding your brain. And then it got really silly. Well, first we had one band turn up playing one sort of music. Everything's fine, everyone's dancing around, being very jolly. And then another band turned up playing a different style of music. And then another band turned up, and now we've got this one's just turned up. They're playing completely different styles of music and all just going for it, trying to be the loudest. When it came to vans full of speakers, though, there was a clear winner. This one. Very cool. Thank you very much. OK, this is Katashi-san. And he spent £50,000 making his van one of the loudest here. He's even got a smoke machine and a laser. It's apparently the only van with a laser in Tokyo, and it's entirely homemade. It's an incredible bit of electrical engineering. At the time I was getting ready for bed, the party really hotted up. Some hardcore modified stuff turned up, like this wide-bodied NSX, signed by some of Japan's top drifters and complete with hydraulic suspension. Although the hydraulics weren't quite as advanced as the ones installed by these chaps.
this guy here. Oh. Ah. That's quite scary. Oh. 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 Uh, ah. Ah. Up until this point, everything had been quite well behaved, but then just a little bit of motoring hooliganism crept in. The people behind these noisy Nissan skylines were some US Navy officers who'd been based in nearby Yokohama for over 15 years. What essential Japanese car phrases should we be learning? What are the things we ought to be saying to impress these kids down here? What do we need to know in Japanese, man? Car phrase? Yeah, things to say. If you're looking at a real nice car, yeah. Really, really nice. Kore no kuruma. Sugoi kakoi yo. Kore no kuruma. Kore no kuruma. Kuruma. Sugoi. Sugoi. Kakoi. Kakoi. Which means? That means that's a very nice looking car. <laughs> if you're looking at a car that's really fast and tuned up, kore no kuruma. Sugoi hayai. Which means? That's a very fast car. What was hot car, man? Nice. Yes. Uh, just want to say short phrase. So goy. Which means? Like, whoa, awesome, awesome amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So goy. Yeah, so goy now. Okay, that's the phrase we need. So goy. One man who was clearly so goy was the owner of this old Toyota Corolla. He assured us his race spec engine didn't mind bouncing off the rev limiter. And then he assured us again. Unsurprisingly, this attracted the attention of the old Bill. Um, it's gone kind of quiet, mainly because the police have turned up and everyone's got a bit scared. I think they're coming to shut it down. In fact, in a typically polite Japanese way, all it took was one slow lap by a single police car to persuade the partygoers to pack it all in. Daikoku Fotu had escaped with a few scars, and we went away knowing that street racing has basically been replaced by car parties.